Water fuels our cities, our people, our families, our dogs, our cats, and even our favorite bakery around the corner. But water isn't delivered to your doorstep by a weekly milkman. So how do Southern California water agencies do it? The water that flows from your tap comes from a diverse mix of sources, from snow-capped mountains and streams to the ground beneath our feet, what we call imported and local. Imported water comes from the Sierra Nevada mountains and the Colorado River. Imported water is a crucial shared water source that provides the foundation for our local water supply projects. Local water is the term for water supplies that are generated right here in our backyards. These supplies result from water recycling, groundwater replenishment, desalination, and stormwater capture projects. Both imported and local water sources are vital to our state's water supply. They work together as an integrated system. When one source has a bad year, we rely on the other. And when one source is abundant, we store it and use it to refill depleted supplies. But climate change continues to strain all of our water resources more and more. To continue providing water to customers in our hotter and drier environment, Southern California has been making significant investments in advancing local supply projects. And we have completely transformed into one of the most water efficient regions in the world. Over the last 30 years, we've tripled the amount of water we recycle and reuse, and our water use has shrunk by nearly 20%, despite a population growth of almost 30%. While we continue to do more to expand our local water resources, it is important to remember that Southern California will always need imported supplies. And we must also do more to protect the health of our shared imported water supplies. To understand why, let's first take a look at how local supplies are generated. We collect rain through stormwater capture projects. We're continuously expanding our stormwater capture capacity in the region, but we can't control the weather. Rain is a rare occurrence in Southern California, and 80% of our rain falls over the span of a mere 15 days, leaving an average of 350 days where these projects get little use. SoCal's investments in stormwater projects allow us to capture more rain during wet years, but we continue to capture the same or less water during dry years due to climate change and worsening drought. The rain we do capture is used to refill our available groundwater basins, where it is stored until we need it. Replenishing our groundwater aquifers is challenging because much of Southern California is paved over, leaving limited areas where we can access our basins. Another innovative and important local supply is recycled water. But currently, we can only recycle water used inside to take a shower, brush our teeth, or do the dishes. Roughly half of Southern California's water use occurs inside. So for every drop we provide, we can only recycle 50%. As you can see, every water resource has limitations, which is why we must continue to invest in modernizing and expanding every water source in our toolbox. California is facing urgent water supply challenges that require holistic solutions. Our local and imported water supplies work together as an integrated system that keeps water running to our homes and businesses. We must continue to do more to secure every source available. We must do more to use water more efficiently. We must do more to expand local water resources. And we must do more to preserve and invest in our imported supplies. Protecting every drop of imported and local water is more important now than ever. To learn more, please visit www.socalwater.org.